People also differ in how they solve problems. So some people like to go with what has worked before. Like, well, how other people have solved this problem? What, you know, what do we know to be a successful strategy here? Other people like to come up with something out of the box or another possibility. Well, what else could it be? And you need both kinds. You can't have only out of the box people because you need a firm foundation. You can't have only we will do what has worked before people because sometimes you need a new idea. And so as the manager or the professor that drives this research team, it's really helpful if you can try to understand who has which skills, which people are more likely to draw upon successful prior experience, which people are more likely to come up with something new. And then my people that tend to rely more on proven strategies and what has worked before, I tend to try to push them a little bit into, well, what if that doesn't work? What else can we think of? And the people that are more like, what if it could be this fabulous new idea? Like, okay, now keep in mind that a faster solution might be what has worked before. So we try to use both and we try to get the two people talking to each other to try to solve each other's problems. One of the things that my lab is pretty good at is troubleshooting together, kind of thinking as a group. Um, they, we have a meeting once a week where somebody presents what their research is. This is the problem I'm working on. This is what I've tried to do. This is what I'm stuck on. Here are the questions I'm thinking about. And then everybody else in the lab tries to offer suggestions, how to solve the problem and how to work together. And maybe they have different techniques or different expertise, and so they try to help each other. And so it's been helpful to really think about what each person's skill set is and you know who you want to go to when you need a new idea, who you want to go to when you know who's got a good command of what's worked before, who wants to sit around and think out loud, and who needs some space to think and uh, work together. So understanding each person's skill set has been helpful in trying to getting a, a team together and getting a team all operating in one direction.